Uh, good morning, this is Jose Diego Monroy, the Dali Associates, uh, uh, broadcasting for Jaden Academy. And today we have the honor and privilege to be interviewing Joe Fernandez and he's with San Antonio River Authority. Good morning, Joe. Uh, can you tell, tell us a little bit about you, you know, your educational background and your, your work background? Absolutely. So uh, I have my educational background is I graduated out of high school, went to a technical business school for computer programming, and then I took some uh, online courses as far as uh, floodplain management itself. Uh, I have been in the industry for a little over 34 years or so in it. So I actually started with the uh, GIS uh, field side of things. Uh, I was in a CAD technician for a good 17 years. And then the last uh, 12 plus years, I have been in the floodplain management uh, in that itself. Started with the FEMA DFIRM project itself and gradually have just continued learning uh, through that education, being around engineers, learning about their software techniques and uh, different ways of doing things uh, with H&H uh, &H modeling and have been partnering with FEMA for about a little over 10 years now. So a lot of my experiences education has come down with a hands-on type of training rather than going to school. But I do not deny that you should be going to a school to get your education and then getting that into the workforce itself. So, absolutely. And uh, tell us a little more about the San Antonio River Authority. So the River Authority does, um, is, uh, is the authority of four county jurisdictions down in South Central uh, Texas. We're located in San Antonio itself. We do a lot of things uh, in that particular agencies. We have uh, waste, uh, wastewater treatment plants. We have uh, an, a laboratory in there that we do sampling and um, results of that uh, along our tributaries and our river itself. We have an engineering department that does a lot of projects, engineering projects itself, and we do a lot of FEMA projects uh, there uh, at the River Authority as well. So we do a lot of, of partnering and uh, managing projects with our partners, such as communities as the city of San Antonio, Bear County, and other suburban cities within the county and down in our downstream counties, which uh, pertain to Carnes, Wilson, and Goliad counties as well. So absolutely, it's a great organization. In a day-to-day -day basis, when you wake up uh, on, uh, on Monday morning, how you go you uh, workload? Do you go to a meeting, do you just go on the computer? So it's a day-to-day, -day, but the differences is sometimes it entails um, meetings on, on a you know pretty much the whole day type of thing or that just the workload is, is is always there there's always a there's never a dull moment i can say in my in my particular day-to-day uh, -day operations type of thing so i love getting up in the morning being able to go ahead and start working in there whether it's doing things in the office or having to deal with the public itself uh that's that's one of the passions that i have is being able to help and work with the public. The public comes out and reaches, asks different questions. Could be anything from floodplain management to uh, other questions that pertain to other departments and stuff. But uh, I just love to be interactive and being able to help, even if it's just one resident who's having some concerns or trying to get um, a hold of information that maybe the, the River Authority doesn't have, but pushing them in the right direction of, as to where they need to be reaching out. So uh, it's, it's a great place to be at. I love my job there itself. And uh, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to trade it in for anything uh, at, at that moment as well. So. And for the new engineers or so, uh, uh, people that are not familiar, can you tell us uh, very briefly what is floodplain management? So floodplain management has to deal with the uh, floodplains that, that FEMA provides and derives from engineering uh, studies and reporting. Um, these are the floodplains that are uh, that dictate and tell folks. If you're in a, in a flood zone where you're at high risk, if there's a storm event that would come down your way, uh, these are the folks that you need to concentrate and let them know, hey, uh, if you, we get a serious rain event, you have to watch out for the type of flooding that come into your structure. Different areas, different ways uh, that you would get experience type of flooding, you could be, get an inch or anywhere to two or three feet type of water. It all depends on the rain event that may come in. So, but. Um, these uh, flood insurance, what they call FEMA flood insurance rate maps, these are the maps that are used and put out by FEMA that are used for insurance purposes to kind of rate um, a particular risk of a property owner where they know where what the risk is and how much they would need to go ahead and purchase some flood insurance. So. I know you will. You just ended your uh, uh, 
role as a Texas Flatland Management Association president. Tell us a little more. Uh, tell us what was your experience being the president of this association? Yeah, absolutely. So. Texas Floodplain Management Association is a great association. I've been with the association since 2011 uh, in itself. I started as a regional director and then worked myself up to vice president and now currently serving my last day as, as, as the president uh, in the association. The association is a great, there's many challenges, many things that we like to do for our members itself. My experience was to try to listen and learn from the members and trying to reach uh, as many as many areas as many communities to be able to provide the training that is necessary to help educate either the communities or the floodplain administrators or even the public themselves to understand what flood risk what floodplain management is all about what's the flood risk is about and educating them as far as I live in a floodplain what does that mean what are my options what can I do to try to get out of that so as serving as the president, we tried to do that. We provided as many trainings as we can and keep continue to looking for those possibilities of spreading even more trainings as we move forward on that. So absolutely. Uh, there's challenges as any you know position in any association you go encounter, whether it be financially or getting trainers or providing the trainings in certain areas. And those are the challenges you try to accept and, and tackle and head on type of things. And I enjoyed my time as a, serving as a president. I hope I served them well, which I think I did. We provided new new technology, new things in in, in the two term two year term that I served on there, and I hopefully will continue to do so, even as just a member of TFMA. Yo, finally, to uh, finish this uh, short interview. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking the time. It's been a pleasure and honor. Uh, you great, definitely you did a great uh, job as serve as the president of this association. For the new engineers, they will be watching this video. Uh, there are new engineers they uh, graduated last year or maybe two years ago or even this uh, this May. Uh, what advice would you give uh, give that to them in order for them to be great civil engineers? So the your only advice that I can really give you all is that y'all have your education. Now you know the ways and techniques of an engineer. But there's nothing more that you can receive is by when you get to your first job, listen to those that have been into the engineering field because you're gonna learn a whole lot more by experience, by the experiences of those peers that have been in, this, in the business for several years itself. Always keep in mind that whatever you put out there, whether it be uh, floodplain management, whether it be structural engineering, whatever, whatever it may be in your field, always keep in mind that the first thing that you're doing is making sure that you're doing your very best to assure that you're putting the very best product out there and reviewing those uh, particular studies that you put out there no matter what. Keep in mind that if you're doing something, place yourself in those shoes as to where you're going to be at so that you know, I am doing this for the public that you're serving out there. Those things that uh, are very, very Commit it and it should be in your heart as you decide as you continue your career and always listen to those peers and be 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 very interactive listen to the folks that are out there because those are the folks that will teach you as you move further in your career thank you very much I appreciate your time and we wish you best and uh, hope to see you soon